Again, from TMZ Sports, they're covering the wrestling beat this week. I'm not going to read this whole article, and if you really want, we could play some audio, maybe. I think if if we do, it has to be from the last, like, two minutes or whatever. There's a six-minute video clip out there. We'll talk about it, but if we play, it's got to be from the last part. The headline, Velveteen Dream Arrest Video, Wrestler Berated Cop Over Miranda Rights, quote, You f- up <laughs> now this is from when he was arrested on august 20th where he uh patrick clark bit and punched a gym employee following an altercation at a fitness facility in orlando florida yet yeah, he's had more problems at spas and fitness facilities than vince has but we I, this arrest was news we talked about it in august as you said and th- this headline popped up what, 36 hours ago, I said, what again? But it is from the the same thing, but it's it's the police body camera footage and uh, video and audio of this thing. And again, I mean, it, it, when you read the account of the arrest before and we made, you know, a few jokes about it, but you didn't, I mean, there's always room for interpretation when you're reading a written account of something that happened. But I don't think that anybody can now dispute that this guy has some type of issue going on somehow that he probably needs to talk to somebody about or something. I don't know. Because even if you have an altercation with somebody and and the police are called and once you're in the back seat, at that point, if you're not smart enough to just shut the fight, you've pled your case. Once you get in the back seat, how many times have you seen on cops in, in 37 seasons, Brian? They go, oh, you know what? Fuck it. We have made a drastic mistake here. You have made us with your sterling dissertation on the events has made us totally see the light. And we're to let us get you out of them handcuffs and pull you right out of that back here. We've gone three blocks. We're going to turn around. We're going to drop you back where we pick you up. How, when does that ever happen? Never. And how much good does it do you when these video, when you are screaming, I'm a WWE wrestler. When these videos go out in the world, how much good does it do you to see you for the world to see you screaming at the top of your lungs, like a banshee, at the cop that they fucked up over and over because you didn't read me my Miranda rights. As I said before, if you want, we have some audio we could play. Why don't just play a little bit of, he's already in the car. And he, folks, we'll recap it for you. They've got him outside the, the health club or facility. He's trying to explain. (laughs) Okay, Vince. Held the health well, it's a health facility of some d- description. He's trying to he explains to the cop that he doesn't know what in the world that he's being arrested for. He has no idea what he's done. He he's gone to that facility and he's he met a couple of gentlemen that were just fine and he had a wonderful time. And then this other guy came up and he just had all kind of problems and he doesn't know why that he's being arrested and he's handcuffed, cuffed and stuffed, as they used to say, put in the back seat. And uh, if, if, on the way to the, as a matter of fact, on the way, the cop turns the radio up because this guy will not shut the fuck up screaming at him. So the cop turns the radio up and he, a couple of times he says, I'm not talking to you. Why are you not talking to me at the top of his lung? So jump in anytime there, Brian. I was not read my Miranda rights. Never read my Miranda rights. Well, as you can hear right now, there's a lot of radio being played. He's because... trying to drown the dream out. Let me get to when he's getting out of the car. Hold on. Read my Miranda rights, sir. Oh! 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 No, 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 no. No, he did not. Where my Miranda rights, sir? My Miranda rights. 
did not get rid of my Miranda rights. Come on, step on out. I did not get rid of my Miranda rights. I did not get rid of my Miranda rights. I did not get rid of my Miranda rights. I did not get rid of my Miranda rights. Walk over this. I did not get rid of my Miranda rights. Why'd you put your hands in handcuffs in front of me? I did not get rid of my Miranda rights. Why'd you put your handcuffs in front of me? You put them there in front of me. No, I put them behind. Hold on, I didn't even pick up on that the first time well, I watched yes. it. While he was in the back seat, this guy had squirmed the, his cuffs, which you can do if you're limber, uh, like this uh, this trained athlete. He's cuffed behind his back, but he got his handcuffs and his arms under his ass and pulled his legs through, and he's handcuffed in the front when they pull him out of the back seat. That's what I always imagined I would do if I was in that situation. It's amazing someone actually did it. It's not easy. It ain't easy. Most people can't do it. I've tried. It's all on camera. I did not get rid of my Miranda rights. I did not get rid of my Miranda rights. Yeah, it's all on camera. I did not get rid of my Miranda rights. Make sure you let them know stand, that too. Stand right here. Face I did, not, I did not get no my Miranda Face rights. Glass. You didn't let me know my Miranda rights. Face the glass. Stay right there. Did you tell me my Miranda rights, sir? This is going to trial. Did you tell me my Miranda rights? No, you did not. You fucked up. You fucked up, baby. You fucked up, baby. You fucked up, baby. That's Okay, that's, you know what? Even if you have a valid argument, when you start calling the police officer baby, baby? that's when you may lose it. Well, I'm, you know, I'm thinking that maybe he's still got this cop, is still thinking twice about should I take it? Because he's standing in the back of the police station now. They're about to open the glass door and let him pass through into the decontamination chamber, like on the Jupiter 2. And he's still doing this. By the way, I don't remember. Was he read his Miranda rights? I think he was read his Miranda rights way back before the fucking video started because they already had him in the cuffs at that point. But regardless... Oh, sorry. Well, I've just said, but regardless, is this, is this going to be good when they play this in court to show the argumentative nature of their client or their, uh, the other attorney's client is clearly not in a good mental state when he was... To picked up and taken off the streets did not be a danger to himself and others. Now go ahead. How do you fucked up the Miranda rights? How do you fucked up the Miranda rights, sir? What are you, a rookie? What are you, a rookie? Oh, we got a rookie on deck. We got a rookie on deck. We got a rookie on deck, baby. We got a rookie on deck. We got a rookie on deck. He didn't tell him about Miranda rights. He did not tell him about Miranda rights. All right, well, there's uh, the tail end of it. Woo, mercy! Does this guy get, ever wrestle get again? Get his Miranda rights, baby. Oh, and, you know... <laughs> he can't use the name Velveteen Dream. If he ever gets a chance to make a comeback, should he use the name Miranda Rights? I think he should. I think he should. <laughs> and maybe if he has to, so he can trademark it, he could spell it W-R-I-T-E-S or whatever, or Z. But yeah, Miranda Rights. That's what he's going to be known as from now on. Because he ain't going to be the Velveteen Dream no more. I mean, that that horse has left the barn, cowboy. Or the health facility or wherever that horse was. Um, no, you. but you, you just asked me a question. I asked you a few weeks ago, or one of these shows or whatever, and you saw some cretinous humanoid somewhere will book this person, you know, just for some... Oh, yeah, Teddy Hart. Well, there you go. That was the... The person that we were talking about, a cretinous humanoid, would book. Somebody will book him somewhere, probably if he wants to be. But who knows? Maybe he's gone on to a a career of crusading for people who are not properly Mirandized. And can you say he'll be out there with with Johnny Cochran? And and if if it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Or if they don't read you your rights, then you must fight. If he didn't bite, say goodnight. If he did. <laughs> Let's, uh, let me scroll back in the audio and hear what he was like in the car a little bit. Hold on. Your arms down low so that sir, that's or, not, you, sir. or you can turn and sit sideways against Can I call my lawyer? I need my lawyer. I need L my lawyer, sir. Listen lawyer. to me. Yes, sir. Okay. I apologize. I'm when scared, you, sir. you get a chance later, you get a chance later to call your attorney. Can I, can I grab my phone, sir, please? All, all that will be coming with us. All that will be coming with us. Please, sir. I need my phone. All that will be coming with I mean, typically they can't give someone who's a who's in the back of a police car their cell phone, right? No, no, it's it's it, they take all the belongings, but you're not allowed to have things that you. Well, I mean, there may be a laser beam on one of these new iPhone 27s. He could fucking just give the goddamn cop a lobotomy from the back seat. 
Come with us. Please, sir, please. Give me sir, his bag. No. Can I sit in the, the little bag? Bro, I need my bro, please, please, please. I didn't do anything wrong. Like, what are you talking about? I didn't uh, do anything wrong. Like this, in bag in there. this is illegal. This is illegal, <laughs> sir. This is illegal. This is illegal, sir. Sir, can you tell me what I did wrong? Uh, we told you it was a battery. What and was the battery? The battery you you had a fight with him, you bit him. Um, the <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just the, I, I can't believe he delivered that line straight. You had a fight, you bit him. I, you had I a couldn't. Fight, you bit him. It was, it wasn't battery. It was bittery. <laughs> I he, him, sir, I didn't bite you him. You bit him. Where's the proof of that? The other thing is, sir, there's no other thing. I didn't can, bite can him. Can I finish? Where's my lawyer? I need my lawyer. I'm suing. I'm suing, sir. Where's my lawyer? If you don't give me a lawyer, I'm where's suing. Where's my lawyer? He Please was here a minute ago. By the way, he may have been an NXT superstar. No idea how the legal system works. Where's my lawyer? I'm suing. Who are you suing? <laughs> also, where's my lawyer? Like he was here a minute ago. <laughs> where's my lawyer? He was, he was right behind that bush. I need him now. Bring him to me. Okay. I'm suing. This is bullshit. You're going to the jail. That's where you're going. Morning, bro. Yeah, it are is. Are you serious? Yeah. Are you serious? No, I am not talking to you. Yes, <laughs> Why is that? Because you're just, you're just rambling on. No, I'm not talking to you. It sure is. Oh, well, there it is. More audio from the Velveteen Dreams. Well, the former Velveteen Dream, now a Velveteen Nightmare, is <laughs> a rest video. TMZ all but, over. You know, and that's that's the thing is now the I bet his. His name will light the office in Stamford up every time because they every time they see TMZ WWE wrestler and for the next 10 years or ex WWE wrestler former WWE they'll be tied to this fucking fruitcake some way or shape or form when every time he commits public batshittedness and and there so no I don't hold out any hope that he's on Triple H's bring back list. Do you think things would be better for the Velveteen Dream or the former Velveteen Dream? Miranda writes, if he just got a good night's sleep. You know, a, a, as a matter of fact, not only more good night's sleep, but just actually more time that he's not leaving his home would probably help the former Velveteen Dream. And I, actually, that could be said of all of us, folks. If you want to not only take advantage of the best night's sleep that you can ever have, but also just curl up in your safe, warm, happy place where the outside world and all the tragedies and turmoil and crime and pestilence can't bother you or find you, there's no better place to do that, either one of those things, than on one of the Helix Sleep mattresses. One of our favorite sponsors, we have been talking about them endlessly i've been talking about the fact that i haven't slept better in my adult life than i do now not only because i keep regular hours and don't binge sleep and then deprive myself of sleep on the road like i used to but also because i lay my my weary head down and that of my family i entrust my i entrust my dog harley quinn to the people at helix my most precious little baby, because it's the best, it's the softest, it's the most comfortable or firmest, if you require. It's the most comfortable, it's the warmest, it's the happiest place on earth. And it can be for you too. They got 14 unique mattresses. They've got luxury models. They got mattresses for big and tall sleepers. They got a mattress just for kids. It's a cute little thing. I would say with it, you could... Wrap the kids up in it and just... It's a wonderful mattress leave for them kids alone that they by have. Themselves, but Brian won't let me, but it, you can leave them in this thing for, for days at a time. They'll be happy. And on this thing, yes. On it or in it, you can stick it. On you it. hollow some of it out. They burrow right in like little moles, and they, they stick their heads out, and they're, they're so... You can put deer antlers on their heads at this time of year and make them festive. But their little grubby little hands and feet can't be grabbing things or kicking at things that way. But anyway, nevertheless, there is no better way to test out a mattress than to sleep on it in your very own home or wherever you happen to be squatting at this point. 
And Helix knows that. That's why they give you a 100-night risk-free trial. If you are in a home or an apartment or a place that'll let you stay for 100 nights, have the Helix mattress delivered to you and then sleep on it for 100 nights and decide whether you like it. If you don't, they'll give you your money back. You're crazy if you don't, for heaven's sake. If it, and if somebody else owns the place that you're sleeping in, uh, then make sure you take the Helix mattress with, the, with you when you leave. But anyway, all you got to do is go to helixsleep.com. That's H-E-L-I-X sleep.com and fill out the Helix Sleep quiz. They'll match you with the model mattress that they have that most indicates your needs. Soft, medium, firm. If you like sleep on your side, back, stomach. Some people, as we know, like sleep with their heads stuck in the sand. Most of them are Republicans. But right now, helixsleep.com slash JCE, if you use that code word, then they're offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows. So you can not only get $200 off one of these fantastic mattresses, but you can also get potentially two free pillows to lay your weary head down and the weary head down of someone that you love. Or if it's someone you hate, They'll go to sleep quicker, and then you can flip it over and smother them with it. Go to helixsleep.com slash JCE, up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. For these fantastic, I'm telling you, the chiropractors, they recommend it. It's number one by GQ and Wired Magazine. It seems like it'd be number one with Playboy Magazine, a mattress. Well, it's not really a thing anymore, Playboy Magazine. I forgot. That's right. It can't even be a thing anymore. Well, if you see some woman walking down the street with one of these tied to their back, you can tell it's the best mattress and they're going for the best quality surface. And it's recommended, as I said, by multiple chiropractors, doctors of sleep medicine, chiropodists, and leading cobblers around the country. Helixsleep.com slash JCE.